I know you've heard stories about me. That I'm a liar. A manipulator. <laughs> that I poison people's minds. Well, let me tell you a different story. A true story. There once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community, bullied by friends, abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. And she met the father. <laughs> he gave her hope and confidence. The father showed her how special she was. That she was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given. One day, the father brought her here. He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her task. Faith in her if she had faith in him. So she closed her eyes and left. <laughs> the father kept his word. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. Walk the path. different? Do you feel alive? The first step is always the scariest, but we all have faith in you. Follow the pilgrimage. Walk the path. I'll see you soon.
That's what? enough! How you doing? I would like to apologize to the members of Eden's Gate, and specifically to the Those miserable shits raided my place trying to kill my peaches. Now she's raced off for her revenge. If I know peaches, she's gone off to chow down on those hippies. She's probably lounging at the nearby campsite. It smells like armpits and processed meat down there. So those Eden Project losers can't be far away. Go on and find her now. Be sure to take her treats with you. She's just like that little drubbing whore at the marina. She'll follow you anywhere if you give her a treat. Now go get my kitty back. Fair warning. Do you see something wild here? Can't tell if the flowers are dying here or if my mind's playing tricks on me. No muss. That was close. That could have been better.
the hell? Haven't felt like this since Afghanistan. Still alive. Adelaide used to be the biggest coup go around. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Any port in a storm. If you are expecting a handout just because you did a good deed, you have another thing coming. I'll be honest. I figured I'd never see you again. Thought you were a little dim in the headlights, but you proved me wrong. Ah, oh, hell. Why don't you just keep the damn cat? I've enjoyed not having to deal with her incessant needs for food and water and attention the last few days. All right, off you go. We're done here. Okay. Miss Mabel lives here. Peaches is one angry beast, but I think I'd rather deal with her than Mabel. I ain't much of a cat person, but she's got a taste for Peggy blood, and they ain't gonna see her coming until it's way too late. <laughs> Liberating some acids, huh?
This rifle's been with me through thick and thin. That thing should be fucked. just like that going on. <laughs> Haven't felt like this since Afghanistan. Get the fuck out of here, Johnny Law. I know my rights. I ain't doing nothing wrong. I am Charlemagne Victor Beauchamp. Now, if you require more brevity in your day-to-day -day life, you can just call me Sharky. Welcome to the Disco Inferno, man. It's my special place where I can just be me, without the prying eyes of my P.O., or witnesses, or law enforcement types such as yourself. Here is where I am free to unleash my fire and mayhem in a pants-free, consequence-free environment. I have pants on now, yes, but who knows what the next... Hey, man, then come on over. I was about to put on some tunes. Have a BBQ. Okay, here is where I am free to unleash my fire and mayhem in a pants-free, consequence-free environment. I have pants on now, yes, but who knows what the next half hour, 45 minutes hold. Got a sweet-ass sound system rigged for 110 decibels of the hottest music ever created. Every time I crank it up, man, those dipshit cult angels, they just come running, and I can't tell if they love it or hate it, but... I'm telling you, it sure is fun to melt their faces off. And don't worry, man, the angels, they's already brain dead. I'm just giving them a glorious send-off to disco heaven, man. You wanna help? It's good fun, man. I promise not to tell anyone. We don't even have to wear pants or nothing. I supply the music, and I use the flamethrower to make them dance, and you use your, um... I don't know, whatever it is you got. Let's just burn this mother down.
fun. Man, I wish all cops were cool like you. What can I say, amigo? You and me, we got chemistry. We're like, we're like a freaking team. All right, get back out there, man. Call me next time you're taking on the angels. Shaw's in the house. Kid, get my you're as fine on the folks who are still holding out. But Faith ain't gonna smile and nod. The mist's rising. Now it's gonna make you hallucinate. And if you breathe it in for too long, you'll lose your mind. Now I also got word there's an armed patrol cruising the river. You gotta take care of that. But be careful out there. You can't even trust your own damn eyes. If I had a nickel for every dumbass stunt of Sharky Boshaw's that went tits up, I'd be a fucking millionaire. Still, he's a fighter. And he don't have any love for Eden's Gate. Dunk on accident. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. <laughs> what you know in your heart. Oh, that reeks of... This world oh. is dying. Shit. Just realized something. Antifreeze. It probably has a shelf life, right? Never. Better wash your hands after that. You could have a zombie on you. Jump on that wall!
There's an Arkweller somewhere inside. Footy was using it last. Get on it. Now you're with me. Let's start collecting scrap. You have to pull the doors off some of the cells? Do it! Now hop to! We ain't got much time! Any problems? No. A couple of the Peggy scaled the wall, but we got him. Door. That doesn't look too bad. You'll be all right. Just keep pressure on it. You know, I was gonna retire last year. I was worried I'd get bored. Are you gonna introduce us, or we're just gonna stand around here all awkward and shit? Language! Oh, fuck off, Virgil. Not today. I have told you, a vulgar mind is a sign of... You're not wearing your button! No, I'm not wearing it. I'll need a casualty report. We're, we're cougars! We're really not. Look, I'm wearing my button. The sheriff is wearing his button. This person... I'm sorry, who is this? This is one of my deputies. I thought you said your deputies were taken. Well, this one wasn't. Been giving Eden's Gate a hell of a time from what I hear. That's so. Well, I hope you plan on pitching in. No room for freeloaders. <laughs> oh, Tracy's all right once she gets to know you. She's right about the work, though. There's plenty to be done around here. Just ask around. Good to have you back, Rook. Okay, then. Nice day. Real glad we have an HQ with thick walls like this. Nothing beats Montana's... Deputy, none of my business, but you might want to ask Virgil or the others for an update. They know the places we need to strike. For an outsider, you're more than a little all right. Time for us to get to the work of rebuilding. I'd ride out the apocalypse. How are you making out? Gonna be honest, never thought I'd see you again. After the crash, I... I just remember fog. Then walking in a field. Then I saw her. You've seen her too, haven't you, Rook? Whatever she says, whatever she promises, it's a lie. Stay away from her, you'll end up just like the Marshal. 
the bliss. It makes you forget. It makes you feel free. You just want to stay there forever. But it isn't real. None of it. If Virgil and Tracy hadn't found me, I'd still be out there, swimming in a sea of bliss. A prisoner in my own head. Those two saved my life. These cougars, they're good people, but they're hanging on by a thread. We gotta help them, Rook. No one else will. One last thing. We had a doctor. Well, a veterinarian, but he's doing his best. Guy went missing a couple hours ago. Don't know why, don't know how. But keep an eye out for him, would you? you Even with all the troubles, Montana knows how to paint a beautiful type shit. You must be dizzy. Get to work, Rook. So many roads to choose. What to believe, who to help first. When to trust. Got a job in the path. Down. Don't let <laughs> Come with me, and I'll show you the path. Friends with your old man. I got everyone wearing your team button. Go Cougars! People out here are self-sufficient. You got no choice. One thing's done for you. Move to the city. Oh, things are messy right now, but you'd be. You've been invited into our home, into our heart. Trust in the path and you'll find the answers you seek. Those who fight against us seek salvation. We are proof of that. We all need guidance in times like these. So we must be strong. We must be vigilant. Now you'll see. Now you'll truly understand. Because those on the outside will see what we have built here together in our new Eden. The love. And they will come, and they will try to take from us all that we have built. They judge me, they judge us. The things that we have done, people say that I'm crazy. This is the world? This? 
This is the world we built for our children? Communities being torn apart? Walls being erected? Because leaders are too impotent to act. Bullies are too adult to lead righteously. I did not ask for this. Mankind is weak and vulnerable. And we are hurtling towards our destruction and no one is willing to do anything about it. I can see that. You can see. But we are not crazy. So what are we supposed to do? We just sit back and await the inevitable? I claim to be a perfect man. I saw what was coming, and I chose to act, to lead, because society is broken. And the only way forward is to go back to the way things once were. Innocent and pure, so safe and protected in our Jesus Christ, you scared the shit out of us. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. Couple didn't make it back. Boys anybody, said... Anybody grab Burke? Brady, supposedly, but... Well, where the hell's Grady? Ah, oh, Jesus. No, you just... You just relax. Lie back. I'll see you in the morning. Christ. You come out of the bliss too fast. Shit's liable to scramble your fucking brains. Sheriff of yours. See what you can do to help these folks out. I was wondering if I'd run into you. 